Week three, day two of our Goddess Foundations workout. Today we have core with light cardio. We have three circuits today. Circuit one, we're gonna complete for three rounds. Each round will decrease in time. Move one is a three count runner and single leg Romanian deadlift. So it's one, two, three, holding that knee up, then hinging from the hip. Let's set it up in three, two, one, begin. If you're having a hard time keeping your balance here, you can always lightly hold on to a chair or maybe place one finger on a wall or even try stepping off of your mat onto a hard surface. Stabilizing on a soft mat can be a little more challenging. go 10 seconds left two one rest all right our next movement is going to be a three count kick out and lift so you're going to lay back but prop yourself up on your elbows alternate your kick out for three reps slow and controlled and then you're going to lift that straight leg in three two, one, let's go. Really resist that urge to move quickly through this movement. Slow and controlled is key here. You are pushing your lower back into the floor. Pulling that belly button in. Make sure you're breathing. Three, two, one, rest. All right, our next movement is a plank oblique twist. So a straight arm plank position, you're gonna twist the knees to the side, dropping the hip down towards the mat. Let's set it up in three, two, one, begin. Everybody's range of motion is gonna look just a little bit differently here. It's based on your core strength, and your hip and knee mobility. So if you're not getting super deep into your twist, you know this is something you need to work on. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, rest. All right, back at the top of our circuit for round two. You have that three count runner in single leg Romanian deadlift. Let's set it up in three, two, one, let's go.
five, three, two, one, rest. All right, back to that three count, kick out and lift, slow and controlled. Set it up. Three, two, one, let's go. Check your form, make sure you're not letting your lower back pull up. 10 more seconds. Two, one, rest. Back to our plank oblique twist. Set it up. Three, two, one, let's go. Looking good, 10 seconds left here. Three, two, one, rest. All right, third and final round of this circuit. You have that three count runner and single leg Romanian deadlift. Let's set it up in three, two, one, hit it. If your balance is feeling good and you feel strong through this movement, I encourage you to take a three to five second pause at the bottom of your Romanian deadlift. Spice it up just a little bit. Three, two, one, rest. All right, we've got that three count kick out and lift. Here we go. Three, two, one, begin. Honor where your body's at, but if you're feeling strong right now, I encourage you to add two leg lifts to each rep. So it'd be three kickouts, two leg lifts. Five seconds. Two, one, rest. All right, last plank oblique twist. Here we go in three, two, one, begin.
Looking good. Ten seconds left in this round. Three, two, one, rest. All right, circuit two we have for two rounds. Again, decreasing in time each round. Round one, we're gonna start at 50 seconds. Round two will be 45 seconds. All right, let's get ready for circuit two, round one. Your first move is going to be a three count runner in a standing crunch. So similar to our three count into Romanian deadlift, but you're gonna keep the knee up and crunch the chest towards the knee. Let's set it up. In three, two, one, begin. Again, if you're finding a hard time balancing, you can always Lightly hold on to a chair or maybe touch the wall. Don't death grip anything though. Really focus on trying to build that balance or even move off your mat. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. All right, take it down to the mat. You have a butterfly bridge. You're gonna do three pulses and one full range of motion. So for the butterfly bridge, your feet are together, your knees are open. And then you move through like a regular bridge, pushing those hips up to the ceiling. Here we go, three, two, one, begin. Drive those hips up, three pulses at the top, then drop it down into one full range of motion. Don't just go through the motion on this movement. Really focus on that squeeze at the top. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. All right, now we are gonna go into a hover position, knee drive and pike. So the hover, you start in tabletop position, then bring those knees up just one to two inches off the floor. You're gonna drive one knee in towards the elbow, bring it back, push back into your pike. Here we go, three, two, one, begin. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, rest. All right, now you have a crunch hold for three extensions. So you're gonna come up into that crunch position and then extend the legs out long for three reps. Drop your crunch and repeat. In three, two, one, let's go.
You're almost there. Two, one, rest. All right, round two, your final round of this circuit. You've got that three count runner and standing crunch. This round is a 45 second work set. Here we go. Two, one, begin. Challenging your balance is such an excellent way to work on your core strength. Balance and core strength go together. You're looking good. Five, three, two, one, rest. All right, we've got that butterfly bridge with three pulses and one full. So feet together, knees apart. Really focusing on our glute squeeze at the top. Let's set it up. Three, two, one, begin. Ten more seconds here. Three, two, one, rest. All right, now you have that hover, knee drive, and pike. Set it up. Three, two, one, let's go. Really focus on that core as you drive that knee forward. Three, two, one, rest. All right, you have that crunch hold with three extensions. Let's set it up. In three, two, one, let's go. Awesome job. Last piece of circuit two. You've got this. Three, two, one, rest. All right, circuit three, you only have to do for one round. You've got this. Stretch those abs out. Grab a quick sip of water if you need it. Mm 
All right, let's make our way back to our mat. Get ready for circuit three. Your first move is going to be a lateral runner. So you're moving laterally, side to side, down your mat. It's one, two, three, pause with that high knee. Again, challenging the balance with that pause. Quick, quick drive, here we go. Two, one, begin. One time, that's it. Let's make it count. Three, two, one, rest. All right, our next move is gonna be a cross body knee drive into a side plank rotation. So you're gonna drive that knee across the body towards the opposite elbow, and then you're gonna rotate into a side plank. Here we go. Three, two, one, begin. We've got this, 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. All right now we have a double butterfly crunch. So feet together, knees open, you're gonna lift the legs and the chest and try to meet in the middle. Three, two, one, let's go. Everybody's range of motion will look different here. You've got this 10 more seconds. Two. One, rest. All right, now we have three frog kicks and then three chest lift crunches. So you're gonna kick out with that nice, big, long extension. Then you're gonna drop back to the floor and lift your chest for three crunches. Let's set it up. Two, one, begin. Almost there. Two, one, rest. All right, your final move today is gonna to be that blast off plank. So starting in a straight arm plank position, you are gonna drop the butt back towards the heels and then push forward back into that plank. Here we go. In three, two, one, begin.
Now, as you drop those hips back, I really want you to suck your tummy in. Make sure you pause in that plank position, lock it out before you drive your hips back again. I've got 15 seconds of work left today, that's it, come on. Five, three, two, one, and done. Awesome job today. Make sure you take some time, really stretch out your core and your shoulders.